Facebook is a social phenomenon that's sweeping the globe, enabling people to connect across geographic and cultural boundaries, share information, and build meaning and value together in new ways. What are the implications of a technology relentlessly embedding itself into our everyday social fabric? So Facebook is an efficiency generator uh, simply because it, it reduces the time and space between people and their actions and communicating those actions and those experiences. Facebook is uh, the latest iteration of a series of communications that increases both the speed of communication, the extent, the reach of communication, and the dimensions in which we can communicate. Some experts can see the aspirational potential of a globally connected society mediated by Facebook. Just by increasing the efficiency of communication and reducing the friction in relationships between people, particularly on a global basis, uh, it will lead to uh, a more integrated sense of humanity on the part of all of us. Others are more skeptical of Facebook's longer-term social relevance. I think it's a step in awakening people to what's what's possible. I, I, I don't think that the, the, the greatest potential is going to be reached with these controls. The model isn't consonant with you know, what the, the human desire is for um, connection and the development of some kind of social organism. Tensions are likely to increase as Facebook attempts to satisfy the, at times, conflicting desires of its user base and the demands of its business. Facebook sells our attention to advertisers and I think even more importantly gathers information about us and our choices. Effectively, Facebook is watching us, they're learning about us, finding us increasingly online and offline, predicting our behaviors. As Facebook increasingly becomes a filter for how we encounter the internet, encounter information online, the kinds of things that Facebook determines are important and that Facebook determines are unimportant, that they're not going to pay attention, not going to link to, these become determinants of how, you know, millions of individuals see the world. You know, Facebook becomes that ultimate filter. What forces or new technologies could disrupt the relentless spread of Facebook? The rise of a truly open social web is the biggest challenge to Facebook, and it will ultimately derail it and sideline it. And we probably will have this more open, web-based, unwalled, um, network out there on top of the World Wide Web. I, I think a major threat is people thinking about privacy more seriously and thinking about um, who controls data more seriously and saying, if this is my stuff, why am I giving it to Facebook to sell to advertisers? Why am I doing that? How long will it take before we witness a significant challenge to Facebook? We probably haven't had our um, first Chernobyl of the uh, social network era, but I'm sure that's coming up somewhere. And since there's a lot of people on Facebook, uh, that's likely to be a place where, where that happens. So what does the social future of Facebook look like? Some experts believe that as our needs change, we're likely to outgrow our current day social media technologies. This is going to sound brutal, but here's a future for Facebook. There is no Facebook, <laughs> right? There is, everybody has their own book, and they have their own face, and they have their own control over their own data, and, um, and they can move data in and out of Facebook and in and out of similar services as much and as freely as they want, where they are in full control. That is the future that we need to be heading toward, whether we're heading toward there right now or not. Others believe that Facebook could catalyze human social potential. Facebook could connect us to other people, could reduce the barriers between our, our minds, uh, and actually help us function more collectively uh, in groups, maybe even you know, something towards uh, what I like to think of as group minds, collective consciousness, or, or what people may call the global brain. Still, others argue that Facebook could swiftly fall out of favor and simply vanish as the next big thing sweeps across the planet. 
it may be become something that is just no longer interesting. And I suspect that is the biggest danger for Facebook. And that's probably the, the thing that keeps Mark Zuckerberg up at night, is this notion that it might no longer be interesting and relevant. And there's not necessarily much that Facebook can do because whatever becomes the alternative, whatever becomes the hot young thing that will attract people away, is not going to be easy to predict. And if they could predict it, they'd do it themselves. To add your voice to the Future of Facebook Open Foresight Project, go to futureoffacebook.com. Thank you.